big crowd at the Jay Davidson Stadium tonight, over 1,700 people. But uh, unfortunately, Altrin have fallen to their first defeat of the season by two goals to one against FC United of Manchester. We're talking to assistant manager Neil Sorville. Neil, um, after the highs and the great performances against Southport and uh, Spennymoor, it's, it's been quite deflating tonight in many ways. Yeah, that was. It's disappointing, you know. We um, we started the season quite strong, so we wanted to back that up today with with all three points. Um, so to come away with none um, w was disappointing, especially after we got our noses in front. Um, but then again, a couple of defensive mistakes and the old set piece hang ups uh, prevented us from from taking anything out of the game. I think FC probably started the game uh, slightly better than us. It took us a while to to get our feet uh, or to get our movement uh, going, but we we did work our way into the game without really testing uh, the goalkeeper. Yeah, we did. Um, probably had numerous opportunities in and around the box where probably two or three of the lads could have got shots off. For whatever reason, uh, tonight they didn't, and we took that extra touch maybe that allowed them to to get a foot in. Um, but like you say, I think you're right in saying that they did start better, but I thought we got a good foothold in the game. We were, we were well in control um, for probably half of the first half without really creating anything uh, you know, brilliant. We minimised their threats in terms of set pieces in the long ball. Um, down the middle, we were looking for the flick on, which caused a few uh, concerns at times. But... Yeah, I thought, you know, generally we were, we were on top. Um, it's good to score second half early. Um, I thought we'd kick on from that, but then, again, silly free kick uh, that we conceded. Needless, led to a corner. Um, and then once they equalised, I, th I felt a bit of energy drained out of us and a, a little bit of belief for maybe uh, 15, 20 minutes of the game. Yeah, so, uh, you know, overall disappointed. Um with the, with the end result and then like I say the second goal we should, even if we're losing possession in in the the our half of the, sorry in their half of the pitch at the corner flag I still don't expect us to be counted on from that position um, which we were so again that was disappointing there was a big moment in the first half when it appeared uh, Brendan Daniels did a fantastic piece of of work's got round two players and it looked at nailed on penalty from from where we were standing but the referees booked him for simulation yeah, well, we can't we can't see from here. We'd have to have a look back at it on the on the uh, tape. You know, it did look like he was clipped, but referee seen something different. So, but again, it was another opportunity to to get a shot off before he was clipped, um, which tonight unfortunately we didn't take. You said we took the lead, and Jordan Hume, he's been involved in the build-up to the goal, JJ and Connor Hampson as well, but a real poacher's goal. Yeah, it was good. We said on uh, Saturday, you know, the, the keeper at Spennymoor was tending to parry everything, and we didn't think the lads were following in, um, you know, to to pick up that ball in and around the box. So it was, you know, good to see there, Jordan. Um, like I say, followed that in and, and, and got his just rewards. Like I say, I thought we'd kick on from that, but you know, really disappointed again. We don't seem to be able to maintain a lead for long enough at the minute um, to be able to take full control of a game. And the equaliser, um, it's just a routine corner and a routine header, as simple as that. Yeah, disappointed. Um, obviously, he's a big lad and that's what his strength is, but... You know, we need to do better, look like a free header. You know, we need to do better in terms of blocking him off or at least putting a challenge in on. Because, um, like you say, it looked just a clean header, hung up ball, no no real pace on the ball, just hung it up to the back post. Um, so, you know, we'll, we've got to do better, really, defensively in them in them set-piece situations. And you mentioned the sort of the draining energy towards after the, the equaliser, and that was probably present in the in the winning goal. It's a fantastic strike by Kurt Willoughby and a really good decoy run by Steve O'Halloran, who it looked as if Willoughby was going to sort of knock it to him, but uh, that's uh, made our defender be in two minds. And Willoughby's uh, open. Well, it's opened up for him really because Halloran's taken our defender the other way. It was a fantastic strike. Yeah, it was, it was a good strike. Um... Again, you know, from a defensive standpoint, you, you're always critical of every goal. Like I say, I was disappointed that they were able to one two out of the car, out of uh, the corner flag back there, and then go the length of the pitch. Um, probably backed off too much around the edge of the box to let him get that to let him get that strike off. But yeah, it was, it was a good finish from the lad. 
We've made four changes uh, tonight, some uh, forced, some uh, either rotating the squad or, or just selection uh, decisions. Do you think that had an impact? Uh, no, not really. I think, you know, it's a tough decision to maybe take the, the two lads out um, at centre-back. Um, but we felt we were conceding too many goals. Um, and probably Ben and... Uh, Tom Hannigan needed a game. They're the two more experienced ones who wanted to go with some experience there. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, uh, Andy White was injured, so that was took out of our hands. But I thought Den's come in and, and, and had a good game, particularly first half. And Boston United here on uh, Saturday, they've won three out of four, so sitting on nine points, which is an excellent return. They've beaten FC United of Manchester 3 0 on Saturday at uh, Broadhurst uh, Park. Always good games between Altrincham and uh, Boston United, but it's probably the sort of game we, we, we need. Yeah, well, you know, we'll be um, doubly keen to bounce back um, on uh, Saturday. But as you can see so far with the results, the way it's going, it's a real topsy-turvy league and, and, and everyone's beating everyone at the minute. Um, that's the way it is. We'll just you know focus on getting back to basics on Thursday, uh, and hopefully we'll come in and put in a good performance. Because I think so far the two better performances have been away from home rather than than here at uh, Mosley. That's Altrincham uh, assistant manager Neil Sorville there reflecting on uh, tonight's two-one defeat against FC United of Manchester. Boston United, our next action, 3pm Saturday here at the J. Davidson Stadium in the Vanarama National League North.